What is up, guys? It is XX Monitor here, and today I'm gonna be showing you some basics of batch coding and programming and everything <laughs> like that. Um, you don't need no programs or anything. All you need is Notepad. So I think yeah, um, you need a Windows computer, and it has to have Notepad, and every Windows computer has Notepad, all the way back to XP and Vista. So just search in the taskbar and if you have one of those really old Vista or XP's um, um, search on the run file on run you can I know how you, I know you know how to open up run <laughs> and just type in note pad and it should open it up so once your notepad um, for the batch file encoding and programming and everything like that you always want to start off with an ad echo off always so um after that um the basics I'm gonna show you are really basic. So I'm gonna be showing you the echo command and the pause command. Those are the only two I'm gonna be showing you today. And if you want me to show you some more, you wanna get a little more advanced in batch file programming, it's really fun. You can do a lot of stuff. So if you want me to show you that, um just comment down below and tell me to keep make this into a series I guess different little episodes of showing you um, the codes different codes and at the end once I pretty much tell you everything I can have like a little contest whoever makes the best batch code file thingy whatever gets gets get, gets to have it featured on my channel so um, let's get started so the pause command you're gonna wanna um, pause what this does I'm gonna be showing you step by step and a detailed explanation so it's gonna name this YouTube and a, and every batch file has to have dot bat b a t at the end and just just keep like that the dot text because you're gonna rename it to dot bat so um, you can just keep like that and just keep save and make sure you save it to your desktop if you wanna access it really fast so it's right here and I have Windows 7 ultimate so that's how my my file looks but if you have like Vista or XP it's gonna look like a like one gear I think it's one gear but this is just how mine looks and you just wanna go ahead and open it up and this is the pause the pressing the key to continue that's what pause does so it's pretty much like a warning if you don't want them to go on or before you want them to go on you want them to click a button just to make sure they're gonna go on so it won't all display right in their face so you might wanna use pause quite a bit and echo tells the computer to say something so echo hi youtube and then pause save that and then see hi youtube and then press on the key to continue and you can you can do as many echoes as you want that's that's the, the good part so subscribe for more videos comment rate subscribe you can do as many echoes as you want and they they will just stack under each other like that oops spell comment wrong yes no it's oh 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 okay 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 yeah i need to put the echo there you go there you go and Yep, that's what happened, guys. If you don't put the echo, if you just put the text right away, it it it'll, it'll try and read it as a command, but it it won't read it because like like as you saw, it said it didn't recognize the command. So you want to put echo space and then whatever you're gonna type. So as you see, it even um translates the exclamation points. So hi YouTube, subscribe for more videos, comment, rate, subscribe, and press on the key to continue. There you go. So. That's pretty much it for this video. I mean, I give you a tip. You want to put pause at the end of everything. So because if you don't, this is what it's gonna do. Save that. It's gonna display the text really quickly and just go away. As you, I, th I don't, I don't know if you saw. You might need to like pause the YouTube video at the right moment. So I mean, I open it up in three, two, one. Yeah, I just, I just did that. I just counted down just to make. Just to um, for you, for you people who want to pause it and make sure it does go there, so you want to add a pause at the end of everything. 
So you will have warning to. Sorry for that. I clicked. There you go. Um, I guess for the pressing the key to continue, you, you I guess you want to click space or enter or whatever you want. Fit. I guess <laughs> it's any key. So, um, hi YouTube, subscribe. As you see, uh, for each echo, like when you click enter, it translates it translates it into a new line, and then the pressing the key to continue goes right under it. So I'm just pressing the key, and it exits out. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I, as I said, it was the the basic, like the most basic stuff. So echo, I taught you guys echo, add echo off, and pause. So you just learned three new things today if you didn't really know this. And if you did, well, stay tuned for my next video, and I'll get more advanced, okay? <laughs> so echo tells the computer to say something. Pause, just a simple warning I guess you would call it and you want to add that at the end of everything so just so it won't immediately go away as you saw so there's a pause echo and add echo off so that's it for this video guys comment rate subscribe subscribe for more videos that's about it peace